You are welcome to another video of ISIS routing protocol concept and configuration. To learn ISIS routing protocol in more details, we will start with two configuration examples in this section with a single area topology and in the next section with a multiple area topologies. So this configuration example, we can go further into details of ISIS routing protocol in the next sections. In this section, we will learn through a single area topology how to enable ISIS routing protocol, how to configure net address, activate ISIS on the interfaces, and change the type of ISIS router as level 1 or level 2. Also in this section we will see the main ISIS monitoring and troubleshooting commands including neighbor table, topology table, and database. Now that you are familiar with the basic concepts of ISIS routing protocol and assume that you already know OSPF routing protocol concept and configuration, it's now the time to configure ISIS in a simple single area topology and get to know a little about basic Cisco ISIS configuration. This is the topology. R1 is connected to R2, R3, and R4 in a single area, area 1 through the Ethernet, a point-to-point, -point, and HTLC interfaces, and these are the net addresses are going to be configured in these routers and the IP addresses. To start, consider the topology and the basic configuration of ISIS protocol. There are some points that are important to notice in this configuration. All routers in this scenario are in the same area, area 1. In the next section, we will implement another scenario where there is more than one area. To enable ISIS routing protocol in the routers, we use the command router ISIS in Cisco iOS software. To activate ISIS routing protocol in interfaces, unlike other IGP routing protocols, we don't use the network command. Instead, we use IP router ISIS command in the context of interfaces itself. As already mentioned, all ISIS routers must have a CLNS address or more accurate, a net address. The format of net address has already been discussed in the previous section. In this section, there is only one area and the area number is 0001. The system ID is a unique six byte value for each router. You can check the system ID of each router with the command show ISIS host name. Let's check it together. Show ISIS host name. As you can see, the system ID of the routers from one to four. And the last byte is a network selector, which is always zero in the net address. By default, all ISIS routers and interfaces are the type of both level one and level two. In the scenario where there is only one area, either level one or level two type is enough to be configured. And there is not much difference between level 1 and level 2 in this scenario therefore in this scenario with the command is type level 1 all routers are configured as level 1 this is the net address command when the router is type as only level 1 or level 2 is configured then the level of all of its interfaces are also determined according to the router OS type. In this scenario, if you have all routers as level 1 and level 2, which is a default configuration, no problem will arise, but two separate neighborships will be created, one over level 1 and the other over level 2. Also, two separate databases, level 1 and level 2, are created in each of these routers. Therefore, the resources are not used optimally. Because of that, we prefer to change the type of the routers and interfaces 
as level one or level two which as i have said in the single area there is no much difference between these two configuration i've already copied the configuration into the routers of the initial configuration the most important monitoring commands are show isis neighbors to see the neighborship show isis neighbors the rotor one has three neighbor rotors r2 r3 and r4 for example in rotor r2 you have only one neighborship according to the topology r1 and show isis topology is another monitoring and troubleshooting command in the topology table shows the list of all rotors in all areas in the topology and the most important monitoring command is to check the details of the lsps in isis with the command show show isis database or show isis database details we will discuss the details of neighbor table topology table and especially database table and lsp details in the next sections.